Hello everyone, and welcome to Xenoblade Chronicles. This is my favorite game that I've ever played on the Wii, and one of my favorite games I've just ever played, period. This game is like really special to me, and it's really special to a lot of other people, and instead of like t telling you why I think, uh, I just want to show you, which is why I'm starting up the series. So... Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, now this game is quite long, uh, in case you don't know, it is very, very, very lengthy, but, uh, I hope that you guys stick around for the ride and enjoy it with me. So let's start a new game. Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Dumban! We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah. That's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah. We uh. may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. 
Why, you two? We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave is approaching. It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah! Huh. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. <laughs> And here we are. Press Z to target a monster. Okay, let's do that. Target an enemy to display the battle palette. Uh, select the fight icon and press A to start the battle. Okay, so we'll do just that. Alright, let's go. Oh, never mind, more tutorials. There's quite a bit of tutorials in the beginning, by the way, but... Uh, it's good that they have them because uh, there's a lot of different mechanics in this game, so... You want to pay attention to all of these if you're going to play the game. So yeah, it's just telling me if we approach them, get close enough, uh, our character will begin to auto attack. So that's just their regular standard auto attack. So do that for a bit. Oh, select arts with. Uh, oh, by the way, just to let you know, I'm using the two things. Uh, I'm playing on the Wii and not the 3DS, uh, mainly because I don't have any way to record on the 3DS as of right now. Uh, well, I do have a capture card for my Wii U, so yeah, this I'm going to be recording the Wii version, but I do have both. Um, and I'm also using the Wii Mode Nunchuck. I know a lot of people like to use the Classic Controller, which I do have, but oh no, I'm used to actually playing with the Wii Mode Nunchuck, because that's what I played it with originally, so I'm just going to stick with it. Anyway, select arts with uh, the D-pad and press A to confirm. Could not use an arrow across crosses out. Uh, Minato Enchant, yeah, it's just telling me all the different arts too. So this is the main kind of sort of thing here. So now we have this charged up, we can use Minato Enchant. Also, the frame rate got really bad there all of a sudden, but you know it's back. Um, so yeah, Minato Enchant basically allows uh, my other party members to be able to deal damage to Mechon, because uh, Mechon, all these here Mechon can normally not... Uh, be harmed by regular weapons. The Monado, on the other hand, does harm them. Uh, and one of the Monado's powers is uh, Enchant, which, as I just previously stated, allows my allies to be able to damage them. And also, I believe, gives them some boost and damage and stuff like that. So, oh, and Buster here. Uh, if you've ever played Smash, I'm sure you're familiar with the, the name. Uh, Monado Buster is basically a really powerful attack that's super effective against Mechon. Oh, I think. Oh, okay. This guy will be a little bit tougher, but it's just a tutorial, so it's not that difficult. But yeah, the main battle system of this game uh, kind of involves in a real time, almost strategy based combat. Because uh, with all your different arts, you want to plan it, uh, plan how you want how you want your uh, party it's hard to explain oh wait just a second no it's not letting me uh, okay never mind I'll try to use a feature that but I guess it's not letting me use that yet anyways it's dead you got to be kidding it's their main force looks like the mech on a hell bent on taking us out They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this.
going down that easily. Tombat, you all right? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's got to reach his limit eventually. <sighs> Monkar, what are you doing? That way is... Sorry, brothers. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Mumka, you dirty. Ah, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. Huh? Ah! Oh. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumban, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots. I'll just come and get the Monado when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! <laughs> The Hawks, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off. You are sorely mistaken. A mech on M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Ah, oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! <sighs> Shulk! <sighs> right. It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the mech on armor as a shell. I'll lure it away on top of it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Meet Shulk and Ryan. Uh, oh, we're gonna have a new tutorial here. When the HP gods is depleted, the character will be. Oh, well, you don't say. Uh, select Dara to that. Yeah, you already taught me this. Use backslash to deal damage. Uh, once again, those of you familiar with Shulk and Smash, backslash! Uh, so that's where that comes from. Uh, restore HP with light heal. Light heal is quite useful. Select who will be healed. So, yeah, right now we have a party of two. I can use backslash at the back to deal more damage. Oh. Uh, you cannot use the same art repeatedly. So, yeah, cooldown begins. So, yeah, they take a while to cool down depending on the art. Uh, I've, I'm taking some damage, so I'm gonna heal. Hopefully, Ryan takes the aggro away. You can see right there, it'll probably explain this to you in a tutorial. Uh, oh wait. Is this it? No, it isn't. Using talent arts. Uh, yeah, talent arts are arts that are for specific particular characters. Uh, select the talent arts icon and press A to use it. Yeah. 
basically it's uh, normally something that you charge up with your auto attacks if I remember correctly. Anyways, he's about to die, so I don't even need to use it. You can also keep that charge in between battles while other while all other arts they'll always uh, be charged at the beginning. Uh, defeat enemies will drop treasure chests. Oh, communications with the Wii mode have been interrupted. Of course they have. Sorry, as I was saying, defeated enemies will drop treasure chests. Press A to open it. Okay, yeah. So basically, whenever you defeat an enemy, they'll drop a treasure chest, and then you can get various goodies from there. So we got an iron crabble shell and a small shell. Most of the time, you're just going to be going right to take all, because there's no real reason not to. Also, well, when I say that, there is like a carry capacity, but like you normally just sell stuff. So you're basically going to be wanting to take everything. Uh, a green barrier stops you from escaping. Defeat monster. Yeah, okay. Yeah, basically the green, whenever a green barrier appears, normally during like a boss fight or something, it means that you can't leave the area until you finish killing whatever the monster is. Be aware of aggro. Okay, as well as going to talk about aggro is basically uh, whoever has the aggro on them, uh, that's what who the monster will mainly be attacking. So, uh, for instance, Ryan's, uh, sorry, Shulk's a lot more brittle than Ryan is, so it's a lot better to have the aggro on Ryan a lot of the time. Uh, because then that way Shulk will be taking less damage while Ryan can more easily tank it. Uh, some merch are more effective in certain positions. Yeah, as I was saying, backslash is stronger from the back. Use aggro rings to better help find your positions. Yeah, so you can kind of tell where enemies are facing base, because they, they'll be facing towards whoever they're attacking most likely. So yeah, we can start. Yeah, and now we have it toppled. Because, oop, backslash, yeah, that was easy. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, but thanks to you, we got it, Shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the Shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Follow the arrow to advance the story. Yeah, basically, whatever your current objective is, uh, a lot of the time will be pointed out by an arrow at the top of your screen. Press C. Yeah, it's just telling you how to operate the camera. I know it's a lot of tutorials, guys, but it won't be that bad soon. And uh, it's there's a lot of different stuff going on, so it's useful to know. Uh, telling you how to save. You can review tutorials anytime. Uh, for the tutorials, okay, yep. Oh, level up, nice. Got an affinity coin. Uh, we'll get more into that later. And we'll take these. So, as you can see, the arrow at the top of our screen is pointing us this way. Um, and you can also see a mini map at the top right. And uh, so we're just going to be making our way to Colony 9 that they were talking about. Uh, but on the way, I want to uh, do a little bit of grinding, kill some enemies along the way, like these. Um, and to not waste your time, uh, I'll probably uh, just speed this part up and we'll skip ahead. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right, see you later. Okay, and that's how we're going to end the episode. Uh, so yeah, we got to meet uh, some of the characters here. Uh, mainly Shulk, of course. And uh, we'll get to see a little bit more of Ryan later. Um, yeah, until, the, until next time, this is Intel from PCSMZ, signing out.